I'm going to show you how you can how you can match the skill level of your staff with the tasks that are required for that day. So here I have my weekly scheduled here. And here I have where the analogy that I'm using is a trucking firm. Here I have the initials of my employees and the trucks that, that they are skilled and skilled to drive or have a certification to drive. So everybody can drive the first five trucks. And then there's more specialized trucks. They could be bigger trucks. They could have air brakes. They could be semi-trailers or whatever. But there's only a handful that can drive the, the top trucks. Then we have on the bottom here, I have the required skills or the required things that are needed that day. So on Monday, they need to have all of these trucks driven. Now, 12 is here twice in many of the days because 12 is the same skill level. So either truck can be assigned to them. Okay, so in any staffing situation, you would have vacation. So I'll put in a V here and drag it across. And you would have off time. And drag that across. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to press the populate button and show you how the staff is put in relative to their skills for the task they require. So let's click on populate. And there you go. There's all our all our people put in and they're telling them what trucks they're going to be driving that week. And all the trucks have been accounted for in, in this in this code. So let me show you the code for this. I have named um, this this macro color colored rows because so that I don't eliminate or um, I don't overwrite people for all driving five, four, three, two, one in the same day. I have them colored as they're used. Now, this code is, I've done it for each day of the week. So I'm just going to explain Monday and basically Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is exact same. And I will only include Monday. And if you'd like to do it for the whole week, you can just keep copying the code over. And so, um, let's start with uh, Monday. We've we've declared last row, M last row for Monday last row in sheet one cells um, R2 and up, and then row counter equals M last row. Okay, so do while row counter is less than 40, so when we have less than our tasks there. If row equals 41, then go to next day, which is Tuesday. If cells row counter value is empty, then go to next day Tuesday. Okay, the required equals our, ta our tasks from this table right here. And um, if require, um, required cells row, row counter to value. So now we've got our required. Now let's look at our staff list. And so our staff skill list is right here. And so um, the first thing I'm checking is to make sure that the 11 isn't colored and I color it as I use it so that I don't overwrite other, other assignments. So for R12, which is the L here, so what it's doing is it's if the active cell value is required, so if this value equals the number on the required table, then what you're going to do is you're going to um, then skill equals require sheet one R11 value, sheet one cells R11, and then I'm going to color this. I'm going to color this blue so that I know not to use that one again. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the, so you found the, the skill on this list here. You're looking for the initials next to that. You're going to the table. You're going to for the table over here, and you're going to look for those initials. Now, um, when it finds when it finds the initials, then the the row skill equals find row find skill. So the initials, and we're finding that row. If the cell 
row skill three value is nothing, then if it's if it's blank, then you're going to put in the number of the truck there. Um, so cells row skill three required equals required, and that's the required value that we've got for the next thing. And then we're going to go go to next, which is uh, our next, which is here, which is um, before the counter. And what I'm doing is from the required table is I'm going from the bottom up. And that's the reason is, is because the ones with um, the 13, 12, 11, there is very few people that actually can, can handle those trucks. So I'm going backwards up the loop. Now, um, now I do this loop until this all of Monday is full. And then I go to the next day, which is Tuesday. And I basically repeat, repeat this whole, this whole, this whole setup again. I will, of course, include the the code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.